Okay, so for this tutorial, uh, we're going to start adding some color to our body parts. So we're going to add color to the hair, we're going to give her some flesh tones, we're going to make color in the eyes, we're going to add some lips here. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is load your selection. So click on the Dots 2 layer. We're going to come over to the Paths palette here and select our work path, Path 1. Once that layer is selected, go ahead and click the Load Path as Selection button. That will give you back your dancing ants. Uh, once that's selected, before you do anything, we're going to make a new layer. Choose a flesh color over here in our swatches. And if this color doesn't suit you or it's not quite the exact color you want, you can double click the color swatch at the bottom of your toolbar and uh, you know choose whatever color you want her to be. Uh, I'm going to choose this color and then click OK. Once you've done that, we need to fill the path with the flesh color. So to do that, we're going to go Edit, Fill. Make sure you choose Foreground Color and then click OK. When you fill, make sure you're on that new blank layer you just made. Otherwise, it's going to fill in one of your dots layers. Um, and when you've done that, we're going to, going to go ahead and call this Face. Make sure you name your layer and then get rid of the dancing ants, Command D. Now, the reason why we can't see the black part of our image is because our face layer is stacked on top of everything. So we want to put this down underneath our dots to layer. Now we should start to see, um, you know, the skin through and there's a contrast between the flesh color and our blue background. Now let's do the hair next. So we're going to use our magnetic lasso and we're going to lasso around our hair and then we're definitely going to need to readjust this selection so we're going to go in here and choose the direct selection tool or not. Let's use our quick selection tool and subtract from our selection a little at a time. And you're just trying to get the overall size or idea of the hair shape. So that didn't really work all that well. We're going to get rid of those ants. Instead, if the direct selection tool doesn't work, like it's not working right now with me, you're going to use your ooh, it's angry at us. You're going to use your uh, pen tool here. And to use the pen tool, it gives you a nice precise trace. And when you're tracing, you want to choose to click, hold, and drag your mouse out. So you click, hold, drag those handlebars out in the direction you're moving, okay? So you click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag, click, hold, drag. You want to trace all the way around your hair. Now, if it doesn't look like a perfect trace, it's okay. Uh, and just like with your magnetic lasso tool, you want to always end where you began. So my first point becomes my last, and I connect the dots. Now, to readjust this line, I can come over here and use my quick selection tool, which is the bottom of your toolbar. It's the white arrow. So we're going to use the direct selection tool, click on our path, and we can readjust those points. So you can scooch them up a little bit. Um, you can click on these little dots which are called handlebars and swing those back in to change your line a little bit to really make it nice and round. Um, so I'm going to leave that like that. Once you have the selection the way you want it to be, uh, excuse me, once you have the path 
the way you want it to be. We need to save the work path. Notice there's another layer that popped up in our layers palette over here. You're going to double click the work path and then click OK to save it. And then it should save over here as path 2. Once that path has been saved, we're going to load that selection just like we did for the face. Then you get the dancing ants. We're going to create a new layer and then we're going to fill this with a hair color. <clears throat> we're going to fill this with a hair color. So I'm going to fill this with yellow just to be fun. So I'm going to give her some yellow hair. I'm okay with this color. So to fill it and to fill it with paint, we're going to go to the edit drop down menu at the top, fill, make sure foreground color is chosen, and then click OK. And it should fill with that hair color. Okay. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and deselect your ants, Command D. The dancing ants should go away, and then save, Command S. Uh, now that you know how to make the process of making all these multiple shapes, go ahead and do that for the eyes, the nose, the mouth, any other uh, features or as, uh, accents that you would like to add to the image. Uh, just make sure that you save, and then we'll move on to the next tutorial.